I will be filming this um, fall inspired look using my Amrezi palette and I'm super excited because I don't always get to use my Amrezi palette because I don't know I don't it's not that I don't get to I just don't use it that much because I'm feel like I'm always doing colorful looks so I'm gonna do this beautiful fall look for you because I'm really excited for fall and I'm gonna pair it with this gorgeous dark lip for you today and a little bit of glitter because who doesn't like a little bit of glitter and yes that's basically all that's going on in my life right now. Um, I also found this freckle tutorial earlier. I don't know if you can actually see the freckles because it's so bright in here. Ah, which probably isn't good. But um, that one will probably be up first. So I don't know why I'm telling you about it because you probably have already seen it. And I am tired today. So just don't listen to anything I'm saying. Alrighty. Let's do this shit. I so I am taking Max Let's Skate Paint Pot all over my eyelid as my primer. It's this beautiful champagne -y pink color that has tons of sparkles in it as you can see. And then I will take the sand color from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit as my brow bone and inner corner highlight. And then I'm taking the color Caramel from the Amrezi palette, also by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just popping that shit on a fluffy brush brush and blending it in my crease and I want to make sure that this color is super diffused and there's no harsh lines so I'm using little bits of color at a time and building it up as I need to so there I go again with a little bit more color just darkening it a little bit because like I said a little bit of color at a time super diffused and that's a Zueva fluffy blending brush I'm not sure of the number and just windshield wipe promotions and then on a 217 brush from MAC, which is a little bit smaller and a little bit denser, I'm taking the color Morocco from the same palette and placing it really specifically in the deepest area of my crease to get a like a really specific placement for it because I want it to blend into the other color but darken the crease. And I'm taking the time to really make sure that there's no harsh lines because I want my crease to look real nice. Oh yeah, just like that. And then I'm taking the color Glisten from the same palette on a flat shader brush and I'm just popping that shit right on the middle of the eyelid there. See? Yep. And blending it into the crease. And then I'm taking a little bit more of that Morocco color on that same 217 brush because I decided that I wanted that crease a little bit darker. Because I do what I want. And then I'm taking that smoky purple color, I think it's called Smoked Plum, Smoky Plum or something from the same palette. And I fucked up and didn't record the other side by accident, so I'm gonna show you on this side awkwardly. And I'm taking on this creasy pencil brush and packing it on the inside and the outside corner of my eyelid. And just kind of blending it into that center color glisten. And then I'm gonna build a little baby bridge with whatever's left over on my brush and just take it all the way across my crease there to give it some connection. Yep. And with that awkward angle right there, that hand angle, I'm gonna pack a little bit more color onto those areas because I want them to be super defined and lots of contrast between the light and the dark. Oh yeah, looking good. And then I'm taking more of that Morocco color on that fluffy blending brush and diffusing that little baby bridge that we just kind of drew in there. So there's no weird looking lines. And I'm indecisive, so I put some more color in there with that smoky purple color and making that little baby bridge look a little bit nicer. And then, nice and out of focus here because I am clearly a talented camera operator, I'm just going to put some gel eyeliner on with the Inglot 77 gel eyeliner, which is super awesome, and a little eyeliner brush, and we're just going to do a nice wing liner. I'm glad that you all know how to do gel liner already because, goddamn, you're not learning anything from this. And I also added some glitter on the center of the eyelid, which was totally off camera. 
that's the Macroflex Gold Glitter. And on the bottom, I put the black eyeliner on the inner and outer rim of my eyelids. And I mimicked the eyeshadow, the dark eyeshadow on the top and did it on the bottom as well on the inner and outer corner. Sorry, I suck at filming stuff. And it's really hard to do it by yourself. No hate, guys. And then I'm going to take, right here, I'm taking my eyeliner a little bit lower than my actual eyelid because I like it to lengthen my eyeballs because I have these little baby small eyes. And I'm drawing that line from the bottom and then pulling it back in. Yep. And just like that. And I want to make sure that the line doesn't look all skippy and stuff. You know, when you put your eyeliner on, it looks all skippy. I don't want that. So I'm going to take the time and make sure that it looks super beautiful and smooth. Not that you could tell from this nice out of focus shot, but I'm doing it. Yeah. Oh yes, looking beautiful there. Still doing the eyeliner there. Nice and out of focus still. I am so talented. Oh yes. All right, then I'm gonna put my 3D In Dimension Lash from MAC on my top lashes. This is the best mascara ever, by the way. And on the bottom, I will be using my Clinique. I think it's just called Bottom Lash Mascara. This stuff is amazing. It's the only thing that does not get all over my face throughout the day. You guys need to have it. And then I'm putting MAC Melba blush on to my face because I like it and it's pretty. And then I'll be applying Vino Lip Pencil by MAC all over those, all over those kissers. I guess that kisser, there's just one of them. And I'm overdrawing my lips like crazy, like usual, because that's how I do. And there, I, I cut out most of the parts that were off camera. I just, I just took a shit when I was trying to film this this time. I don't even know what happened. It was just a pile of shit. Fill in the whole lip in. I promise I'll do better next time, you guys. I promise. Oh yeah, just filling that all in there and making it kind of look smooth, I guess. And I'm cleaning up the edges with a little bit of extra concealer that I had laying around just to make everything look super perfect and fancy. Fancy lips. I like to do this um, before I put lipstick on. And then I'm going to take Max Studio Fix Powder Compact and I will be going around the entire edges of my lips with it because it's got silicone in it so it stops lipstick from bleeding. It is amazing. Okay, and then I took this Pro Pan lipstick from Makeup Forever which sucked. It moved my lip liner around and made my lip color all uneven so don't use that. Use Media from MAC. Much better product. Yeah, don't use that shit. All right guys, so this is my finished look. I hope that you enjoyed my video today and I also hope that you learned something cool or something helpful. And I also popped on a pair of my House of Lashes Bambi style lashes, if you didn't notice. And yeah, please also let me know like what you think. Don't forget to keep giving me like, suggestions on what I should do next. They're really helpful because I'm such an indecisive person. Yes, anybody that knows me can vouch for that. I like can never make my mind up. So if you guys didn't make suggestions, I'd probably just sit there and never make a video because I would never know what to do. But if there's anything on my Instagram that you guys thought was cool or you want to learn how to do, like let me know and I can try and recreate it for you on here or see if I can get to it or whatever. And this lip I pair, I posted a couple days ago on my Instagram and people were really wondering like what it was. Well, here you go. This is it. Now you have all, now you have the guide. Now you have the knowledge to do this lip at home by yourself. And also I know that I used for my lipstick, I used a Makeup Forever Pro color, um, which I don't know. I've tried to look for it. And I don't know if they like exist anymore or what the deal is, but Media for Mac is so similar to it. So check it out. See if you like it. All that good stuff. And don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Have a great day, you guys.